Uh, it was okay, better than the last uh, performance we had. The last time we camped was in a, we played was in Nations Cup and then uh, we did very well and uh, now we have sets of good players and, uh, and new players to be precise. We are trying to build a new team and uh, by the grace of God we think we are doing well and everything is going to go fine. Uh, at first we underrated them because uh, when we met them at the Nations Cup we won them 9-1 and uh, we never thought we were going to meet in the first uh, game and uh, as we met we underrated them so they won. Uh, it's a good game anyway but we will learn from our lessons next time. We can get better in Bissoka if we try to establish the league here in Nigeria. Right now we don't have the league, we just manage to play from those people that play from grass, they come to the sun and play, so it's very difficult for us, but as soon as we get the league, it will go. So it's the same story for beach soccer in Nigeria, Super Sun Eagles player uh, Emeka Obona, um, explaining why they couldn't, you know, win the title of Cote d'Ivoire. Guys, um, it says league, league, league. Every season, what we hear is we need a league. Maybe somebody is not listening. I don't know, but it's about time. Aston, I think it is about time. And I really agree with you. We've won the championship on the African continent twice, Copa Lagos twice. And that means we have talent. That means we have those that can play big soccer. That's right. I mean, I mean, at this level, we should not be still talking about Is that about flavor? You know, I mean, that's, that, I mean uh, that's one of the new introduced players. Um, this season, the coach decided to inject new players. Mm. But also, the you know, reason why this doesn't work because yeah. we don't have a regular big soccer league. Sorry, so we're just putting guys together in legs and seven days and we want them to win. And the Federation were releasing a lot of you know, um, stories where they want them to win. And then after the championship, they're saying we need a big soccer and also the first half football. I mean, it is, it is high time mm. you know, we have a beach league. All over the country, at least in some of the countries, we could get you know, um, a, a beach to play. And in some countries where they don't even have waters, they try and get the distance together and play beach soccer. So mm. talking about us who have water, who have beach around the country, you know, we should have this. You know, yeah. beach soccer is is is, is one you know football championship that also that can also. I be mean, so people come here. People come here. I, I, I was surprised. Yeah, you know, the at, at the VIP ticket, that was very very expensive. People sit money to buy the ticket and come down here. People, you know, stood inside the sofa for so many hours to watch the beach soccer. That means Toby. with beach soccer, we can get something <laughs> done for Nigeria. Toby, <laughs> Switzerland is a landlocked country. Mm -hmm. There are thousands of miles away from the nearest. See, mm. yeah, they have a big soccer league. That's right. So we have That's no right. excuse. That's right. And so there's no. I mean, technology has made it very easy mm -hmm. that you don't need to be on the beach to play, play beach soccer. soccer. That's right. All you just need is uh, yeah. good quality facilities, and, and you know, it's it's it's. Big, big soccer, big, to set up the beach soccer pitch is not even that expensive. It's not. It's not you just need to get the sand and. You know, I, I have I, I, and, and to construct the bleachers, that, that will probably be the only other thing. But I mean, it's 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 my problem with Nigeria is that it's all talk. Mm. We talk, talk, talk. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we have been saying this for the past four years. Yeah, exactly. For the past five years. For the past five years. Yeah, and then, we, the, the NFF, they've just come up with a release now. Yeah. Um, the president, Amaju Pinnick, they have big plans except from next the, year. But the, but the truth yeah. is that. Before Pinnick, McGarry and every past NFL president, who, after the end of Copa League every December, they always tell us we have a big soccer league. Mm. And this is five years counting. Mm. Austin, nothing to the, show the for truth is, The truth is, as it stands, with all due respect, the NFA cannot organize a beach soccer league. But you say so? They can't do it. They don't Why? have the capacity to do it. They are, they are even struggling with a normal league. You wanted to now start, uh, <laughs> to start organizing a beach soccer league. It has to come from the private sector. And that is the truth. Mm. We continue to say government, this but, government, but the that, federation will engage the private sector. We have to put, put our money where our mouth is. This Copa Lagos Beach Soccer Tournament is a private initiative. Right. It is not supported by government in any form. And it's going on. Five going years on. running. So if what, say, what, what stops us, what stops someone from replicating it in Port Harcourt? Mm -hmm. Replicating it in Abuja. That's right. Replicating it in Joss. Mm -hmm. Replicating it all across the country. And there's a ripple effect to it today. You do this, beach volleyball learns from it. Yeah, exactly. Beach rugby learns from exactly. it. Exactly. Everybody starts, so, you know, getting so, serious. So, okay, we know that at least there's, a, there's one tournament once every, every two months, once every quarter. So uh, we know, okay, there's maybe it's like a circuit. There's the Lagos circuit. It moves from there to the Akure, to Akure, to Benin, to Portak, all around the country. And you have teams who are ready to participate. Mm. That because, like we said before on this program, beach soccer is, is an exciting... That's right. You can never... It is very rare to find a goal-less game in the beach soccer tournament. Yeah. Their it's goals really are scored... Goals. In every, the, there are more goals scored in every minute of beach soccer yeah. than than in <laughs> than in an entire. <laughs> and of course, lovely atmosphere. Uh, you guys, you, you spoke about the, the VIP. Um, yeah, I mean, sealed up and I all mean, that. The cherry the I know attraction. you. I know you're going to go there. Good side <laughs> attractions. Austin, mm -hmm. the truth is, if yeah. you want people to come, you have to give them a reason to, to come. come. Yeah, that's right. 
right. You have to give them. While I don't think there'll be beach soccer, uh, sorry, um, uh, why, why don't you think that there'll be cheerleaders if we had uh, probably in, in some northern states, yeah. but there are still other attractions that you can bring. Yeah. And people would still come. That's right. That's right. I totally agree. So uh, that's the update from the 2015 Copa Lagos. Uh, I was there with uh, Toby, and uh, we didn't like the fact that Cote d'Ivoire came and then he did big things. But I spoke to the manager. He says they play over 23 league matches. Yep. And I said, no, that's it. And, and, you, and you, and can, you can't come for, close. For, for less than two, two weeks. Mm. I mean, mm. I, I think they deserve it. You know, that's in right. In terms of preparation you and think? everything. To, I mean, to Kodoba, 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 well, Kodoba, Kodoba, yeah. yeah, they deserve it. There's nothing to think about. They deserve, <laughs> they deserve it. So I, I don't need to think. I mean, they deserve mm. it for the Nigerian account for two weeks. I think they deserve champions, you know. Maybe we can come next year and start chasing again. Mm. So that's it. Uh, let's just hope that the Nigeria Football Federation will walk the talk. There are potentials for beach soccer to thrive in this country. We can actually make you know, some good revenue out of it and then give people a reason to come out to the beach and then relax, watch it good uh, soccer. That's it. Let's go. Leave the beach. Come to the grass. Where Nigerian uh, support a good striker, Odioni Yalu, is still on fire. He's doing big things. Look at that guy. He's scoring at will. To the Koiki, unbelievable season for Johnny Gallo. 2015 has been remarkable. A total of 28 goals this year and 12 goals in 17 English Premier League matches. 12, 28 league goals and counting. Wow. The year hasn't ended yet. There's still the Christmas uh, schedule to prosecute. Mm -hmm. uh, Odion Ngalo is, um, is a man on fire. He has scored more goals in English football than any other striker. That's I right. repeat, mm. than any other striker in the 2015 calendar, calendar. year. That's, That's right. more than Olivier Giroud, more than uh, Alexis, Alexis Sanchez, Sanchez, more than Christian Benteke, mm. more than uh, Jamie Vardy, more than anyone. That's right. So which means that this, is, this man is the top marksman in English football for 2015. Mm. Mm. And he deserves all the plaudits. And, you know, people keep talking about... And, and his two goals against uh, Liverpool were well-taking goals. Uh, this, the second... The first goal was sheer upper body strength and the, and the willingness to chase against down the ball... Scatter. Against Martin Scatter. Mm. Yeah, then the second one was an excellent header, good position. He started the move, gave it off to Dini, who fed it off to uh, Valon Berami, who sent it back to him. I mean, you know, people keep talking about why Odion Ugalo does not replicate this form for the Super Eagles. And I think for, it's clear, it's, it's proper to state it here and now that that is utter balderdash. Hmm. You ask yourself, what are the quality of players that he's playing with in the Super Eagles? Mm -hmm. What are the quality of chances that the Super Eagles even create? Great. What are the quality of clear-cut chances mm -hmm. that the Super Eagles create? What about the Super Eagles style of play? Then what about the quality of clear-cut chances that the Super Eagles create for Odion Gallo? Hmm. So those are questions that we should even ask. Then you, you know, every good coach and understands the technical that technical ability of a coach to transform that club form. Exactly. And the truth team. is, you cannot cook a, um, a goosey soup <laughs> using um, ingredients used for utazi. If you have to build your team, you that in a, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> if you have to build your team in order to get the best out of Odion Ingalo, oh, well, because yeah. you know that is your most potent weapon, so Do be it. it. That's right. Troy Dini, who is the captain of Watford, used to be the top striker, but mm -hmm. because they understood that, well, maybe Odion Ingalo had better positioning, mm. better finishing ability. That's right. Dini now plays for Ingalo. Yeah, look, right. look at the look at the look at the partnership. Look at the partnership. They have created more and scored more goals. But they're the most prolific striking partnership in English right, football. Right. So on t I think, I hope um, Super Eagles coach um, Sunday Ulisse is watching mm. and learning something yeah. so that when these players come to the national team, he knows the best way to get the best out of them. Mm. And that's what, that's what we're expecting yep. because uh, it will be that big one in match. You want to expect Ojo Gallo to come back with his form. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, we want to get Ojo Gallo to score. Yeah, we saw in, in recent games, yeah, I think he should partial the ones who play for Super Eagles, one of goes. But like, just like Tony said, how do we play in the Super Eagles? You know, uh, how Ojo Gallo will play? Because in, in, the in, ball in, 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 in the last three games, you see Ojo Gallo chasing the ball, try to drop to the mm. middle of the pack. And at Watford, he's still up front, try to get the goals and get the job done for Watford. So it is, it is a two different thing, which I think uh, we said really need to balance. We need players around Ojo Gallo, players who can you know, provide the final pass for Ojo Gallo to combat. It's right. just obvious. If Odegaard is comfortable with balls, he can get the goals for us. And I don't think we should be get worried about not scoring the goals with Odegaard in form. And just like you said, you know, March is here, Egypt is coming. Hmm. I mean, Odegaard will still be on fire, but how do we make sure they're going to fix him look at into our philosophy and also our tactics to get a goal. Look at his position. Positioning. His positioning. That's right. He rarely goes wide yeah. because he knows that the, 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 the goal post is wide. It's, it's something very different. I mean, our last two games, sometimes they're going to struggle. Try I don't think he's running, running aimlessly. Look at his start pitting him because he's a small striker. And look at the second goal that we talked about. Immediately he got the ball, he fed it to Zdini. He went back into the middle. Otherwise, he should have gone wide. But no, he knows where the post is. He knows where he's supposed to be. 
Cup for the third round finals to, to Chelsea to that position. So he drags them there. It's technical, you see. So it's football. I'm That's not what a coach. I don't get paid but five million dollars. But, 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 but we watch this thing and then, I mean, we try our little research to do analysis and we understand this thing and we know that Johnny Gallo would like to bring that form back to the Super Eagles of Nigeria because that's what I want. That's what Tony wants. Of course, that's what Toby also wants. Toby, thank you so okay. much for coming around. I'm pleasure. going to give Toby a chance to, you know, go get some rest. But this guy will stay because it's about a spit fire. When we come back, my colleague Yemi Adebayo will join us. Seb Blatter and Michel Platini has been banned from all football-related matters for eight years. Was it ash? Was it justice well said?